Patanjali and quantum physics. Patanjali is the founder of Raja Yoga who wrote Yoga Sutras 200 BC. These are the Yoga Sutra in original Sanskrit. And it is translated and interpreted by many, many scholars. What Patanjali says is yoga is to remove restlessness of the mind. And when you remove the restlessness, you establish in yourself which is consciousness or Atman. It is similar to universal consciousness. Quantum physics says entire universe is nothing but supreme consciousness or unified field of consciousness and everything outside is mostly empty space. So here Yogi Patanjali describes like Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha. Yoga means removing mental modification or mental waves. Tada drushtuhu swarupe avasthanam. At that time, the person reaches own nature, establishes into own nature. Vritti sarupyam itaratra. All other time, wherever chitta or mind goes, that is, it identifies with. Vrutaya panchataya klishtaha aklishta. There are five kinds of mental waves. Some are pleasant, some are unpleasant. Some are supportive to spiritual practices and some are obstacles to spiritual practices. Pramana viparya vikalpa nidra smruti. Pramana means direct perception. Viparyaya means illusion. You see snake in a rope or see mirage where there is uh, no water. Vikalpa Vikalpa means delusion. There is nothing but you visualize something by word. Delusion created because of the word. Nidra means sleep. Sleep means slumber sleep when one loses consciousness who I am. And Spruti means memory. Because of memory we dream and also in because of the memory we recall all the experiences that happened in the past. He describes all these five definitions. I translated Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, especially first two chapters, which are very meaningful to everyone. And also I interpreted them in contemporary way. And here in a dynamic spiritual transformation, I gave out the concept of quantum physics and explain them. Put, to put Patanjali Yoga Sutra and quantum physics together. Patanjali described the practices which is one meditates and experiences for own self. What quantum physics did is shown through experiment that what Patanjali was saying you can even scientifically see it. Entire universe is nothing but consciousness. Everything is mostly empty spaces and everything that looks solid is not solid. Though it looks solid, it is vibrating energy and ultimately when they investigated, it is nothing but waves. Waves with potential and possibilities. Means nothing is stagnant, nothing is permanent. So, when observer looks at the situation, the wave situation disappears and it solidifies. So, the world we perceive according to quantum physics is only projection of the mind because when we pay attention, we become observer, we see it. When we don't observe it, it works many different ways. It has many possibilities. 
that same object could be in different places at different times. Patanjali also said the similar thing that Nama and Rupa, Rupa means form, is illusion because nothing is permanent. Our body is not permanent, our mind is not permanent, our emotions are not permanent, nothing is permanent. Nama means we give the name to plant or flower. We call a rose or we call by another name, still it remains the same. So name and form are all illusion. Everything in the world is anitya, impermanent, constantly changing. Though it looks permanent, it is constantly changing. Patanjali says, if you control your five mental modification you establish in yourself and if you get established in yourself and become pure consciousness then you can use that pure consciousness and use concentration, meditation and samadhi together. Three collectively is called sayama and with sayama you can control any object, any subject and you can perform your own miracles. Quantum physics says similar thing that they use the word entanglement means anything is entangled becomes homogeneous with it and knows everything about it. So what Patanjali talked about Sanyama they must have found all the Ayurvedic herbs without all the scientific experiments because they must have practiced Sayyam on plants and knew all the qualities of the plant. So if we can control our mind then everything is possible. All our energy is wasted because of the mind. So real yoga is control of the mind yoga position, proper diet, moral disciplines, these are only the preparation and stepping stone and only a means. Ultimate thing is control of the mind. If mind is withdrawn from the world, you get all the power. It is similar to electricity. When it goes out, it goes to the source. So Patanjali says, Withdraw all your senses and mind from the world. Go deep within, into your pure essence, Atman. Experience bliss. You have potential to experience bliss or you can produce your own miracles. Quantum physics brought similar principle but it is at subject-object relationship. You can observe but they did not provide any technique to meditate or find place. So one can control entire universe, but unless one knows own self, one may not find happiness, liberation or freedom. Jai Bhagavan.